More than 75% of soldiers in the Myanmar military may wish to defect and join the civil disobedience movement sweeping the nation, according to an army captain who himself defected in March. Captain Lin Taong said it is likely concerned for soldiers' own safety and that of their family members that has stopped most members of the armed forces from participating in the CDM, as it is called. The struggle led by the public aims to topple the military junta that took over power in a coup on February 1st. People currently living in military housing are stuck, like they've been kidnapped. Their family members are controlled, so the soldiers don't get to act freely. If a soldier wants to flee, he'd have to take his family with him. This could cause a lot of difficulty and unnecessary loss. That's what's happening on the ground. They know this isn't fair, but they have to look out for their families. They're aware of the injustice and I'm sure they feel uncomfortable with it. And yet they have to close their eyes. But if they knew there'd be some protection for their families, they defect. I'd say over 75% of them. Captain Lin Taong served in the military for more than 10 years. He was part of Light Infantry Battalion 528 under the Triangle Region Command in Eastern Shan State, Mongbing Township. The captain believes that there are many soldiers struggling to get out of the institution. He claims many are well aware of the grave abuse of using weapons that belong on the battlefield to crack down on unarmed, peaceful protesters. I know some of my seniors and juniors serving in the military. Now their families are being threatened and pressured and they can't do much to stop it. If they did, it would only make things worse. They're in a position where they and their families can't do anything in response. They know it. We know it's unfair. But we have to look out for our families. I defected, but I can't do anything to protect my family. The captain was born and raised in Yango, the commercial capital of Myanmar. It was a difficult decision to defect. Before he left the army, he was able to bring his father, who was paralyzed, to a safe place. But still, he is concerned that the regime will find a way to harm him. Despite the risks, the captain continues to encourage soldiers and police officers who are considering joining the civil disobedience movement to overcome their fears and stand on the side of the people. Protect the whole public instead of a select few, he says. <laughs> I would like to urge everyone to defect like I did, because the belief systems within the military are wrong. Express the truth in your heart. There are those who see and know the truth. I know a lot of them in my field. Please defect as quickly as possible and stand with the people. Only then will we get what we want. Instead of sticking around and protecting a select few, it's best to stand with the people and represent the interests of many. I urge you to defect. The captain has said that he would join a federal army under the committee representing the Pirang Zutoto in order to fight against the junta. He believes many other soldiers currently in the regime's armed forces would too. If there's more pressure, this will happen. Because it's difficult for one person to go on for long with their eyes closed when there is injustice being done. 
They'll defect if there's more pressure and they start to witness losses. The majority will join because it's hard to hang on to their positions. You can only shoot firearms if there's a person behind it. There won't be enough manpower left. Our federal army will definitely have the upper hand if there are more people involved. They don't have a lot of soldiers and they won't hold on much longer. So I predict others will join. Definitely the majority. I myself will fight in the federal army. Soldiers and police officers who, like Captain Lintao, have defected from the junta's armed forces are currently sheltering in territories controlled by ethnic armed organizations. These groups have a long history of opposing domination by Myanmar military. The soldiers who fled to areas under their control had been previously told that those leading the ethnic armed struggle were their enemies. Now they're relying on them for protection from a common threat, the junta. They say they are ready to fight the same military they left behind if and when a new federal army emerges.